So here we are with carbon and fluorine. They don't have a metal to give them the electrons they need. Carbon comes in with four electrons, fluorine has seven each, and they're each short of the octet. So they look at each other and say, let's pool all of our electrons together. There's only one carbon, so carbon's got four. There's four fluorines, so four times seven is 28. And then when you add carbons plus fluorines together, we get 32 electrons. Now you shouldn't be thinking about ownership anymore. Remember, these guys are going to work together. They're going to cooperate, covalent bonds. They're going to cooperate and share their electrons. So we have 32 electrons to divide up and give everybody an octet, make everybody happy. Now, I told you before, you should always start with carbon. Carbon should go in your center, never hydrogen. And these fluorines, these halogens, usually can only make one bond, so they're not really good uh, center atoms. So the formula is CF4. So I put my C in the center and my four Fs all around it. And then the next rule is to connect all of those guys with a single bond. Now remember, a single bond represents two electrons. So if we tally up the electrons, we've got two, 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 and two, two, four, six, eight. So 32 minus eight leaves us with 24 electrons. Now the next rule is give all the outer guys an octet. So I'm going to use the electrons in my bank to give everybody eight electrons. So two, four, six, plus a two in the bond, that fluorine's happy. This fluorine has two, four, six in the electron cloud, plus two more in the bond, so that's a grand total of eight in that cloud. Two, four, six plus two in the bond, so that's eight. And this fluorine, you can imagine, probably needs six plus the two in the bond. And that one's got eight. Now let's look at how many electrons we put down. Six plus six is 12, plus six is 18, plus six is 24. So I just emptied out my bank of electrons, and I'm down to zero. Now you should always check to make sure you hit zero because if there's extra electrons, you did something wrong. Now let's take a look at what shape this is, because on paper, it looks like these angles are really 90 degrees apart, and that's not what it's like in real life. So here's our central atom, here's our carbon, fluorine, 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 fluorine. There's our four fluorines. Now there were no extra unshared electrons on that central atom, everybody was happy, and this is what our shape looks like. In the real world, they're not 90 degrees apart, but actually 109.5 degrees apart. They're all equidistant from each other, and this is what we call a tetrahedral shape.